Hey everyone, James Patrick here again. I'm going to go ahead and dig through yet another cool sound in this track that a lot of people seem to be curious about nowadays, a popular sound for people to make. Uh, the kind of like coin collecting sound that I'm hearing in a lot of really sweet, modern, psychedelic bass music styles. Let's check this out. That's fun, let's listen to it in the mix. It's such a tasty little sound, and it's a simple little technique. Um, you probably recognize from other videos of mine here that I always have the original MIDI version of the track, usually colored black, next to the audio file that I'm actually arranging. So that way I can go back to it and look at how I made it or make a video about it. Uh, more importantly, make new sounds with the same tools. And the way that I'm doing this particular one, I'm doing it again with the electric piano. I was just on one with the roads this day, it seems, because I made a couple other unorthodox sounds using an electric piano this day and you can see what I did I had an arpeggiator in front of it and then I put a little saturator grand delay stereo motion on it those are the really most critical parameters so let's go ahead and just build a coin collecting patch from scratch in a new session it's a pretty simple patch actually if I've hit the letter M to engage my computer MIDI keyboard I can just hit some notes and arpeggiate them change the rate here and I can add steps, as in how many steps will it move as it's arpeggiating. I think like if I did on two, it would be moving up in whole steps this many. Right? So if I do a longer range, like maybe like perfect fourth or perfect fifth, that's like pentatonic. Then the next move simply is to take this thing out of sync and use this as your main like speed amount. So what's fun about this patch is you can put any instrument on there. So that's pretty fun, but let's try it. Let's try it with a wavetable. I'm going to hit Q and then Command F and then wave arrow down enter. Now we're going to get into like video game land. So just for fun, I'm going to Turn that track down a tad. So this is already lots of fun. Let's try it on octaves. You're gonna go eight octaves. You better start pretty low in the bass register. You know, perfect fifth is that pentatonic thing. You'll be able to stay in lots of different keys at the same time. I get to my amplitude envelope and get rid of that release time altogether and make it nice and video game full sustain. Maybe just a tiny bit of release. Or how about we pull this all the way down? These are all really fun little shapes for collecting coins. Right? What if we went ahead and warped it a little bit? These are all coin collecting opportunities. What did I use before? I think I probably had a saturator on before. I think in this case, I'm God's telling me to just try a nice little delay, maybe a resonator. Let's try a delay. So I'll put the delay on there and instead of syncing them, it's kind of boring. I'm gonna go ahead and crank these times down nice and tight. So it's more like a flanger chorus kind of effect. I'll pull the dry wet mix back. <laughs> This is nice, huh? Let's mix that in a little further and give it a little more resonance with the feedback. This is all fun stuff you can include into one funky rack by hitting shift click across those and hitting command G. I definitely have my arpeggiator rate, maybe my steps too. Then I'd have like maybe wavetable position as well as wave fold. Those were all really fun things. Yeah, and then maybe decay time. And then what about resonance or feedback? Better put some delay times on here too, eh? We'll just put these both on the same one, but then we're gonna go into these macros, go to the mapping mode. This was this guy, I'm gonna change its color to like salmon. And now I can see which ones I did there. Make sure they're a little offset. So I'm gonna crank this one up and maybe this one down. 
So now they're always a little out. As, yeah, as a matter of fact, for maximum, I think I want maximum to be about 30 or 40 milliseconds. So we're just sticking with flanger territory here. Offsetting them by about 15 milliseconds is going to ensure you're getting a nice stereo widening. To <laughs> So yeah, make some racks. I call this coin collecting. This is one of the many fun sounds you can make after playing around with combining synthesizers, audio effects, and MIDI effects into one cool little instrument you can save into your instrument rack library in Ableton like a boss. So I'm James Patrick. You can hit me up anytime if you have any other ideas you want to share or if you want to learn more. It's jp at slamacademy.com. Thank you very much for watching.